it's about spending time with your family and friends and giving to the people that don't have a family. Christmas means to me to give presents to people, to people and kids that don't have presents at Christmas. That's Jesus' birthday. That Jesus was born. When my sister um, came here to celebrate Christmas with me. That my grandpa came and surprised us with gifts. I love to find me down to something for Christmas. I'm going to see a lot of my family in Texas. When it was last year, or I got to play soccer, so, yeah. We always decide on the tree, but we we'll just don't agree on it. What I want for Christmas this year is um, American Girl doll from Santa. Just cool boy stuff. I want an easy big oven. And you get your car. An oven. Um, I, I've never been car burning. My first phone. New phone. New phone. A mini iPad. I will get my parents for Christmas some clothes. A easy bake oven. My mom, maybe I need a new phone case. And my dad, um, new shoes. A quarter of four. I was planning on by getting mm. oh, yeah. Season, 
will be broken before New Year's Eve. True. If you said true, you are 100% correct. That's why I bought my kids cardboard boxes instead of iPads. True or false, seven out of every 10 dog owners, you know who you are, seven out of every 10 dog owners will buy their pet a minimum of five Christmas presents. True, maybe even more, you crazy dog freaks. My wife is one of them, it's okay. True or false, the average number of Visa cards that'll be swiped, all that plastic during the month of December, is 5,480 times per second. Absolutely true. That's a lot of plastic. And by the way, who knows that none of this has anything to do with the real meaning of Christmas. Amen. True or false, Christmas true. is all about Jesus. 100% everybody got that one. All right, one more. Here we go. One more. True or false? I can't. The number one selling Christmas song of all time I won't, is I won't Jingle be. Bells. You guys are ridiculous. No. False. On the count of three, you tell me what it is. One, two, three. Bing Crosby's White Christmas. Yeah. It was put out in 1942. Funny we mentioned that year because back in those days, in that year, it was before Facebook. <gasps> How did we exist without it? Before YouTube, before Twitter. Embrace yourselves. In 1942, there was actually no smartphones. People actually had to communicate with each other. They had to talk to each other. It was an amazing thing. But what they would do every Sunday back in those days, they would gather in their living room, family, the kids, mom, dad, everybody, friends from across the street, they would all gather into the living room. And their only form of entertainment was gathering around the radio, just like this. GATH Radio proudly presents Christmas Frenzy for your listening pleasure. Gather your family and don't touch that dial. Brought to you by Lux Toilet Soap. Keep your toilets sparkling this Christmas. It's 6 a.m. Christmas Eve morning. The sun is shining. The kids are still sleeping. And your husband's already up making coffee. It's the perfect morning. Oh. Hello? Oh, hi, dear. Oh, hi. You know my cat, uh -huh. Mr. McMuffin? Mm -hmm. Well, he had a terrible run with the raccoon. Oh, no. We're down at the vet. Oh. 300 yeah. stitches and two eye patches. So I'm going to need you to host family Christmas this year. What? Uh, uh, but what about Cousin Susie? Well, Susie's house is backed up by you, so Christmas has to be at your place this year. You're in shock. I'm in shock. <laughs> but you strain your shoulders, filling with courage. You know it's up to you to save the family Christmas. Well, okay then. Let's do this. Oh, that's great, dear. We'll see you this afternoon. Oh, and don't forget, I'm allergic to salt, and Susie can't have butter. You hang up and run to the kitchen. With a loud voice, you yell. We're hosting Christmas. Up and out, kids. Up, up, up. Oh, wow. Come on, come on, come on, come on kids. Oh, clean your room up. pronto. Oh. Then outside to clean the backyard and give the dog a bath. Honey, can we pause and talk calmly for a minute? Maybe we could just order pizza. You give your husband a withering look. OK, OK, well, what do you want me to do? Mow the yard and blow out the driveway. Oh, oh, and can you build a festive planter out of power? while I run to the store. It's not very realistic, honey. You grab your keys and head to the grocery store. Yo, man, welcome to Segway. What? All we have left is tofu turkey? Your phone rings. It's your husband. Hello? Hey, honey, uh, you know the neighbors down the street that are going on that Christmas cruise? Uh -huh. Well, they just dropped by and dropped their dog off for you to watch them. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a heads up. The dog? It has diarrhea and a contagious rash. Good luck with that. A rash? Diarrhea? You know, swing by the health section and get hand sanitizer and cortisone free. Nothing can stop this family Christmas. You can hear your family praising your hosting skills in your head. Oh dear. 
Amen.
Jimmy Spangler. I don't even remember. Play the guitar. You know, not only young people can play the guitar, but some of us older can play. You know, that, that was really good. That was really good. You like all the, all the angels dancing and whatever. Really, that's kind of cool about it. It's kind of good. Hey, we're going to set up the stage. We're going to do some things in the back. And, and listen, when we do these, uh, some of you have been to like a Heaven's Gates, Hell's Flames, and we do that. Uh, that I'm trying to think about 22 years we've done that. We probably have had over probably a quarter million people that have come through that over the years. We, we didn't just do it every year and it just patch out like this. And it's just incredible time. Every time we do something here, I want to keep the tickets where we can have some VIP seating. That will be fine. But most of the seats here, as you know, you didn't have to pay anything and we want it to be that way. And some people that can't afford to come, they can come. But then again, we always take an offering. We do an offering, and but I'm gonna tell you why uh, this is gonna be an offering I don't mind talking about, because it's not gonna be about, it's not gonna be for me, it's not gonna be about us, it's gonna be about, it's gonna be for some children. And uh, we're gonna help some kids this Christmas, and we've already started doing this. And so I want you to get ready, because Usher's gonna come in a minute. We're gonna, we're gonna help some kids out for Christmas. But just this past Saturday, uh, we have a thing called uh, our Nineveh Kids Space Christmas. Uh, Nineveh Outreach is a food ministry that we do. We feed uh, thousands of people with bags of groceries. We have a mobile medical clinic. We have a mobile dental clinic. Uh, the other day, example, that we can go into a park in our, in our van that we have a dental uh, clinic van uh, with dentists and, and uh, uh, people that will help us from different offices and people in our church. And uh, there was a lady in welfare, 68 years old, and, and uh, had four, no, not four, she had six abscess teeth. Uh, that would have cost probably $3,000, and it was absolutely free that we were able to do this because we were out there ministering to people and helping people. And that's what really it's all about. It's a charity that's it out. So when the ushers come, this is what we're going to do. We're going to help people. How about that? We're going to help people that don't have what we have. I'll show you a quick video of Saturday night, uh, of Saturday, what we did. Uh, the kids that came, we, we had to get buses, and we bused them in from different areas of the city. Uh, many of them will not have much for Christmas, not have maybe anything. Uh, never been to something that they're going to. I don't know if you realize that we have a, uh, a place that we built over here called Kids Space. It's right over here, uh, and it has a full fitness center in it. Uh, but it has a, it's, it's the number one, it was voted number one kids venue in Modesto, and the number one birthday venue in Modesto, uh, and that includes John's Pizza, Chuck E. Cheese. It's the number one place to go. I mean, seriously, in the city. And you'll see a little bit of it in this as you watch this, but I want you to prepare to give, and we're going to help some kids out this Christmas. Watch this here. This this just happened Saturday. We got candy, we got candy, we got gloves, we got This is over here, and I see for all these kids to go to the school and bring all the youth into this program. Uh, it just makes me happy for my grandkids to be here today. My name is Brittany Gold. Yeah, I play the guy, the ball climbing, games, the play plays. They, they get to experience things that I really didn't get to experience as a kid. We have things like this, and it's great. I like it. I think it's amazing because for some of the kids that don't get presents, they get presents when they go to this activity, and it's fun for them because if they never had a present before, then it's better. Our kids' space experience has been awesome, wonderful. The kids are having a blast. They got to hear the story about Jesus and my grandson got to sign one of those uh, receiving Jesus cards. That's so awesome. I think it's wonderful. I'm blessed to have people out there to give back and help us with our kids. Yep. Yeah. And there's so much joy to see the kids look happy with you. Thank you, Kids Space! That was Kids Space. Amen. Yeah. So, so, how about helping us out here all over the building? We could do something really big. Everybody, let's do this. Uh, and the reason I can ask is not going to me. It's going to go to some people. It's going to help out. Let's do something big. And I want to pray for you. Lord, bless each and every one here. We thank you that we can touch and we can help others that would be less fortunate. And really, that's what it's about, helping people. And I pray that you'll bless each and every one in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Let me mention a few things. Uh, also, to, uh, uh, with children and kids, we have a Planet Kids Christian Preschool here Don't that's a, that is brand new right over here and it's accepting new students three years of age and pre-K. We have those classes. If you want information about that, there's a table in the back that you can go ahead and look at and uh, get some things there. All of them have a great time. It is a wonderful family time. We receive communion. 
and uh, it's just a great, it's a really At our house, we love God. Make no mistake about that. At our house, we believe in God's unfailing love and the need to share that love with the city. At our house, we believe in the power of prayer. At our house, we believe in the dreams that God has given us. And we will pursue them at all costs. We believe in leaving a legacy, not only for our children, but for generations to come. In our house, we believe in God's gift of life and living it to the fullest. We believe in the Bible and that it is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that He lived as an example, died as a sacrifice, and three days later rose again. At our house, we believe that sharing this message will not only shape the city, but turn the nation. This is our house. 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 Yeah. We welcome you to our house.